to Ginny Lunn, who's Director of Policy at Prince's Trust, and Luke Dicker, who has Asperger's Syndrome. 20 years old, Luke, currently looking for work. So you count as being in this group of people with special educational needs? Um, well, apparently. <laughs> um, well, I'm, I'm, uh, I've been out of work for a couple of years now, and I'm, I'm searching for employment. Give me a bell. Um, <laughs> I mean, uh, the, the problem is that the, the, the job centre isn't a facility designed for people under 25 anyway. It's not, uh, and people with um, Asperger's and other conditions like my own, uh, it's very difficult to do further education and to uh, get any sort of qualifications. Why because, is that? Well, because p speaking from my point of view personally, I have ADHD, which means that obviously I couldn't pay attention in school because I wasn't interested by topics. But now that I'm a bit older and I'd like to go back and sort of get qualifications and try and find something a bit more career orientated, that opportunity isn't there. And I'm, I'm quite fortunate in the sense that I'm a youth patron for Ambitious About Autism and we're campaigning to make, uh, create um, a system where education for people with disabilities, uh, the age is let, um, taken up to 25. So, so um, Ginny, we come to you just a second. Yep. I'm just in, interested in Luke's example. I mean, how, how does that manifest itself in practice? When Do you apply for jobs and then people reject you? Or do you apply for a, more education and you're not given that chance. What's happening in practice? Well, in practice, I mean, I apply for about five seven jobs a week, a week and generally I don't hear anything back from any of them, not even at oh, all, thank you for your application, you just get completely blanked. And, I mean, I'm not a, a complete idiot. I am capable, capable of doing, mo you know, a reasonable amount of work, but because I don't have those qualifications and I'm not being given the opportunity to go into further education because of my age and now that I've reached the ability where I can concentrate and learn, but the, there's nothing in place really. Well, Ginny, I mean, listening, <laughs> listening to Luke talking and seeing how he is, it seems extraordinary that A, he's not getting educational help, but, um, but people aren't, there aren't things, people, organisations. To well, exactly, help out. and I mean, it's something, it's not surprising the news today, and it's something we see. You know, every day of the week, we see lots of young people who have many challenges struggle at school. So I think, you know, it is a difficult time. It's a difficult time for all young people. But I think a good illustration, I would just say, is that we... I met a young guy last week, similar situation as you, Luke, who has similar challenges. But basically, he had an idea that he wanted to do something around gardening. So he came to the Prince's Trust... We said, OK, let's put you on our enterprise programme where you get a chance to experience um, what it is to start at your own business. And, and he went on, we gave him some money for his tools, we gave him a mentor. And I think that's something that's critical, is that, is that you get the right support. And he has now got a really successful business. You know, he's doing really well. It's like you say, you know, yeah. he's got talents and he's mm. now working. So there's lots you can do. And because I'm quite fortunate in where I live that there is faci there are facilities in place to help. Like, you know, um, in Wiltshire, there is a higher education, um, a system in place to help people with disability gaining uh, jobs and employment. But mm -hmm. it's a postcode lottery, as is the case with any condition. It depends where you live as to what help you get. Yeah. And considering <clears throat> I have this help available and I'm still struggling to find employment, it shows that there's uh, something needs to be done really. Ginny, do you think part of the problem is simply the bald fact that, that there is there are very few jobs around for young people and employers think here's a young person with a special educational need, yep. here's a person without one, you know, it's a it's a choice for them. I think I mean there's huge competition for jobs at the moment and mm -hmm. I think as we see lots of young people leave work leave school with very few qualifications puts them at a disadvantage and they're the young people the Prince's Trust is trying to work with and I think there are employers though, I would say there are employers out there we have seen that many employers are ready to give these young people a chance I think it is it's about searching them out and it's about finding organizations like ours that can help to do that and Luke in, in terms of when you apply for a job mm -hmm. I mean there, there's this obviously the, the, a lot of people in, in your situation have very few qualifications yeah if any I mean, do, are you up for, how does it work in terms of the application process? Do you, do you declare that, you, you know, here's the reason why I, I have so few qualifications as compared with someone else who's applying for the same job? And how is that, how is that responded to? I mean, I know you said a lot of people don't respond at all. Well, I mean, I've had very few responses in the last few months. I mean, I, I'm someone who hasn't been on job seekers allowance until the last two months when finances have become that bad because so I haven't wanted to be a drain on the system. But, you know, when you are out of work for that amount of time, there's no choice but to... Uh, take that route and I mean well I, I'm very proud of the fact I'm autistic and that I'm able to overcome it on a day-to-day -day basis and you know I'm able to function like a very good looking but pretty average person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, what just, kind of work would you like to do? Well I'm, I've 
always, I've done sort of a lot of labour work in years gone by, you know, working with my hands and uh, such, and like sort of part-time work here and there. I've kept myself busy, but at the moment I want to do something a bit more career orientated. I'm, you know, I'm at the moment I'm really glad to say I've got an interview with Lloyd's Banking on the sixth of March, which I'm really, really excited about and hopeful to get something from. Okay. Well, wish you the best with that. Ages. And Ginny, in terms of, uh, I mean, practically, mm -hmm. in this situa situation, I mean, wh where should they turn? Princess Trust is Princess one organisation. It is, exactly. And we are across the UK in many, many communities. Um, and I think it is about really searching out the right support that you need mm -hmm. to be able to move into work and to say there is hope. I think that's a big, important thing to say to young people. Yeah. There is, you know, hope out there. And lots of people are doing amazing things. Ginny, Thank thanks you. very much. Good luck, Thank Luke. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.